Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here, and welcome back to the Farm Sim Show, where we look at some of the newest mods for Farming Simulator 19. Guys, we're looking at PC mods only today. PC Mac only mods. I got three mods I wanted to take a quick look at, go through them, and show you where to find them. Uh, we got a tractor, we got a tractor trailer unit, a truck, and we've got a placeable house, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you may have seen it, you may not have. Who knows? I'll show you where to find that one as well. Anyways, guys. Three awesome mods, so hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget, guys, we do live streams, we do Let's Plays, we do mod looks here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a thing. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, slap that like while you're at it. And folks, let's dive in and take a look. So our first mod that I wanted to look at today is the Freightliner Cascadia P4 by Whiskey Sierra Modding. Guys, this has an absolute ton of options to it as well as it looks fantastic but it has an absolute ton of options. Of course, there's one interesting omission, I would say, to the options available. And we'll start with that. I hate to start with the one critique, but there's there's no wheels available other than the ones you get. So these bald rubber tires you get right here, that's the only option. Uh, everything else, guys, could be pretty much changed out to whatever you like. It's almost as much as an American truck sim type customization on this particular unit. Really nice looking truck. Uh, we'll hop on inside here. Take a quick look at the interior. Interior is done up as well. We can fire this thing on up. Let's see if you've got the bunk in the back. Sweet. Sounds good, doesn't it? Spin around outside. Put our lights on. And you can see it's got a few options for lights. Of course, we've got our beacons on this particular model that all work. But up front, you've got, well, your marker lights there. You've also got the advanced markers. Then your headlights and your high beams as well. There's quite a few options here as far as lights go, and everything works, of course. And as well, you've got your blinkers. They all work front and rear. Not bad. Moving inside, gauges and dials all do tend to work as well. Look at that. I love the speedo. The digital speedo does work. That's kind of cool to see. Cool. Back this on up. Sounds pretty good as well, doesn't it? Excellent. All right, guys. So let's jump over to the store and take a quick look at this. And uh, we'll see what kind of options that I was talking about. Like I said, there's quite a few things to look at with this truck, guys. So to begin with, your base horsepower, 400 horsepower, 90 miles an hour, 127,900 bones. There you go. Looks pretty good. Now, right off the bat, color options are ridiculous. Look at this. Look at the colors. Absolutely pretty much everything you can think of. Uh, class Monster Metallic. I didn't even notice that before. Look at that. That is cool. So you have an absolute ton of color options, a lot of metallics, gold candy. I like gold. Oh man. Yeah, look at that. So there's quite a few options here, guys. Pretty much anything you can think of, you can find for a color option here. Very cool. Oh man, look at that. That is nuts. So like I said, quite a few options as well. As we walk on down here now into our design section, you've got some options for your racks and beacons. Quite a few options there if you want to rack or beacons. Uh, standard package, well, you can change the base to match, to be color matched with the uh, the rest of the cab, and it changes your bumper as well. If we change this coloring up to something a little bit more dramatic, shall we? Let's see if we can go red chrome. There we go. You can see we can color match that or not, depending on what you want to do there, right? So you get a few options there and a chromed grill as well. Kind of cool. All right, hidden back on the back, our attaches, we have our hidden exhaust, or we can have duals or singles. Those are your only options there. Engine setup. This is where things get a little bit interesting, of course. We have our Detroit diesel, which is the 400 horsepower. You can go up to the 500 horsepower, the 515, or the 655. So you can go all the way up to 655. That's another 12,500 bucks, mind you. Keep that in mind. Scroll down one. So we do have some options back here as well on our wheels. Not a lot, though. And one of the interesting things is you can change the fenders up. But if you do end up going with these uh, plastic, I don't know, they call them the below plastic flow fenders. You can't get them to color match. That is one one thing that got missed there. Unfortunately, that should be color matched in my opinion, but uh, you can't get that to color match, but not really necessary either. You could always go back and then just go with the kind of plastic look on the side and then you're not gonna notice it as much. And then last of all, our wheel setup for our rear. You can see right now, this is, like I said, we can't change the wheel color or the wheel type on these trucks, but you can change the rims on them. And that is really the only thing you can change there. You even got the arrows, which I don't think I've seen in Farm Sim. The aerodynamic rims. I don't think I've seen that in Farm Sim. But uh, there you go. You have that as an option now. There you go, folks. That there is the Freightliner Cascadia P4 126. 
And next up, we have the John Deere 4X50 or 4000 series. Not bad, once again. Um, now, one issue, I'm gonna go start with my one issue with this tractor right off the bat. And that simply is, there's no way to get rid of the European badging on it. You're stuck with the European badging. I wish we could get rid of that. That would be my only critique. Please get rid of the European badging. Uh, it looks good other than that. So we have a ton of options for this. Again, a ton of options. And I'll talk about, well, some of the ones I'm more interested in actually in a sec. You can see we've got some different wheel options here. You've got options for beacons. You can change the exhaust on it, the setup on that, and you can change this front connection if you don't want to have a three point. You can also add a, uh, a front loader connection if that's what you desire as well. Let's jump over to the store first and we'll take a look. Now the pricing on this tractor is a little bit off. It starts at 15,000 bucks. That's a little low even for used. Uh, typically, I think you'd be looking between 30 to 50,000 even for a worn tractor like this. Uh, these are early 80s models, 80 to 87, I believe. So anyways, 15,000 bucks is a little on the low side, even for a pretty well abused tractor. Just be aware of that. Anyways, wheel brands. You got Trailborg, Midas, Michelin's, and Nokian's. Kind of standard stuff there. And most of them have some options. The Trelleborg, of course, have the most as always, it seems like. For your wides, you even got the narrows. Look at that. You got the narrows, you got the skinnies, of course. You got the rear with the skinny as well, and then up front. So you do have that as an option for all the tires. Quite a few options there, kind of the standard. No weights though, no weighted options, which is interesting. So now we go to our design, and then, of course, it's, I believe it's German. But we have a couple options there. We got our beacons, that's it. Same with our other design, and I believe that's, yeah, there you go. You can see that is your exhaust. We have a couple options for that as well. Moving down to the engine setup options, we have the 4050, which is our base at 130 horsepower. We can bump this all the way up to the 4850, which has 215 horsepower. So that's really gonna push the limits with this for a medium-sized tractor. 215 horsepower is not bad at all. That's nothing to, to scoff at for sure. Moving down to the bottom here, we have an option for our front lights. We do have some fog lights you can add on to the front there, as well as a front loader attachment. And then lastly, folks, you have the engine sound. Now, there are several different engine sounds. So you're gonna have to test them all out yourself to see which ones you like. But there's an absolute ton of all. There's like five of them in total. There's quite a few. Maxing out price, we're at 18,500 now with pretty much all the options. Let's see if we put fog lights on as well. There you go. So, like I said, pretty cheap in the grand scheme of things. Twin wheels are at 25,400 bucks maxed out. Just be aware, a little on the cheap side, but still not too bad. Let's jump out. I want to show you this, the engine sounds. All right, guys, we've got three different tractors here. I've put three different engine sounds of the five, I believe it is. Two of them I find sound pretty similar, so this is a pretty good difference. Let's fire this up and we'll just have it a listen. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, yeah, that sounds so good, doesn't it? Love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, we'll get a little bit of gas. <laughs> that sounds so good. I, I do like that. Uh, we're going to move down one here. I believe this is the... Oh, man, I don't even remember which one's which anymore, but that's okay. We'll listen to this one fire up. So very similar, it's a bit of a different cadence to uh, the cycle of the engine, but still, very similar, very cool. Give it a bit of gas again. And there's the change right there. This one here is much louder when we're giving it the, the boots to her. So just be aware of that. There are a couple different options there. You have to test them all out to figure out which one you like the best. Back this on up. Okay, lastly, let's go over to this one here. One more last test. We'll fire this one up. And definitely a different sound to the idle. Yeah, most definitely a different sound to this one. You guys can hear that, definitely. It doesn't have that cycle, that cadence that the other ones do. This sounds more like one of the traditional trackers from Farm Sim where they don't have that rumble. It's still pretty good, though. I don't know. I don't know which one I like the best anymore. But anyways, you have a ton of options. Go test them out. Let me know which. If there's a particular one you like the best, they all sound pretty good to me. Very cool. Excellent, guys. All right, let's move along. I've got another couple mods to show you here.
And next up, we have a 1958 Chevy Apache Stepside. This one is by OK Used Mods. You guys might recognize their names. Got a couple of views on various mods that they have created. Fantastic looking truck, isn't it? Does look good. Once again, uh, absolutely killing it. So there's a couple weird little things. I'll go over the, the things that maybe I'm not a fan of with this truck to begin with, and then we'll go over everything else. But we'll hop on inside. You'll see interior looks fantastic, doesn't it? Okay, two minor problems I have found with this one. Nothing crazy, but the indicators, they work. You can see it's flashing, but they don't actually flash the lights. If that's a problem for you, of course, that might be one, but they are actually working, but these ones are not currently flashing the lights. Just be aware of that. Fire this up. You can see we have one of the engine tunes in there right now. Sounds good. We'll move us ahead a little bit. The other thing is the accelerator is a little bit finicky on this, I find. It tends to stop a bit quick. I'm not even hitting the brakes on this and it's stopping. So there is a little bit of a tune that is a bit tight on this one. It should coast a bit more in my books, I think. But that is it. Other than that, guys, great looking truck. Look at that. Oh, man. Even the interior. I love the interior on this truck. Uh, a very nice look. Speedo does work as you'd expect. It's got the train horn. <laughs> not bad. Tailgate does work as well. And there's actually a little bit of a party trick with this. Well, I'll back this back towards our garage over here, guys. And this comes with, well, a wooden box. Boom. There you go. So just be aware that it's like a tarp. And that's how this works. You can put it on, turn it off. You don't do it in the store. You do it in the truck page itself. So from here, you activate the tarp. And you can put that on or off. Just be aware that that's where it's at. It's not in the menu when you're purchasing the truck. It's once you actually buy it, you can choose if you want it on or off. But there, folks, let's go jump over to the store and take a look at it. So right off the bat, you're going to see 145 horsepower, 15 grand to 62 miles per hour is your specs. For your colors, well, you got an extra quite a few options here. Once again, an olive, which is, I don't know if that's an olive. That looks more like a gold to me. But anyways, who am I to say? Uh, even a chrome. <laughs> I love it. I love when you guys put the extra colors in. They look so good. So you have quite a few options here if you want to change things out. Kind of give it your own special flair there. Your engine setup. Well, you've got a couple engines there. The six-cylinder 283s. I think you can go up to the V8 crate, 300 horsepower. Is there one more? Yeah, there it is. You can go up to, all the way up to 400 horsepower with this. You want to go to the 350 crate. And then lastly, your wheel setup. You can just change the rims, basically. you got black steels, or you have the wheel steel chrome, and then you also have the cap. So you've got a couple options there as well. Not a ton, but just a few options. You can't change the color of any of these once they're in place, of course. And you only can change the main color of the truck. So that there, folks, is the 58 Chevy Apache Stepside. And our last mod for today, guys. Well, it's the Elk Mountain Modding Farmhouse. This is something special once again. You know what? We're going to start with the garage just because we're sitting right in the garage. Um, yeah, we're going to start with the garage just because well, we're here. You can see, once again, well detailed. There's something about Elk Mountain Modding. You guys might remember some of the stuff that they've done in the past. Uh, they do have the the timber framed home as well. We have been using that one quite a bit. This one is the update. They do something special with the house. As you can see around here, well detailed garage. Of course, that door does go into the house and both of these garage doors do work. Boom, close that on up. Authentic garage door sound as well. Love it. Let's go scooch around to the front side and I'll just kind of show you, well, what you're dealing with here. Now it does come with this kind of rounded driveway that comes up to the front here. And that's the front of the house right here. This is your front porch. And I mean, it, it looks pretty amazing. Um, I, th I think this might be currently the best farmhouse in Farming Sim. Let's bounce on inside. Open our door up. And close this on up. And well, we better turn the lights on, of course. Look at the interior. So much detail has gone into this. Guys, I don't even know where to start with it, to be honest. It is tons of detail uh, from well, our TV over here with our weather map. The books, which are all scans, even down in below here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look. Looking, looking at the Napa website or see, see if we can some, find some parts for some of our trucks. The 2019 Farmer's Almanac. We may want to get rid of that. I think it's maybe time to update the 2020. But anyways, I'm just saying. Uh, unfortunately, the only thing is you can't light the fireplace. That's the only thing. I wish you could light the fireplace. Let's go for a little walk over to the kitchen. Get yourself a coffee in the corner there. They've got, we've got some folders sitting there ready to go. Not bad. Uh, a big gas stove, of course. And then off the back, well, a smart fridge. And our barbecue is outside on the back porch here. Pretty sweet, huh? 
Now, I haven't even shown you half the stuff that's down here. We scroll into here, you've got, well, you've got your little half bath. Actually, it's a full bath. Never mind, you've got a shower too. Close that back on up. Down the hallway, we've got, once again, a, I think it's a laundry room on, is it laundry room on this side? Yeah, laundry room on one side. <laughs> laundry room. And our office. Look at the office. Hulk Mountain Ranch. Oh, man. Got some John Deere equipment, looks like, up on the computer screens. Dual PC monitor, not bad. Dual PC setup, or dual monitor setup, I should say. Uh, and I've got a gun safe in the corner, even better. Close this back on up. And this goes out to our garage. There you go. We can shut that back down. There you go. That's the main floor, guys. Let's go upstairs. It doesn't end there. No, it doesn't. Right down to the end. Of course, we've got well, one of our bedrooms right here. All decked out. We've got some nice natural light coming in. Down to the end. We've got another bedroom right through here. Same type of thing. No windows in this one, but you do have a bed and light stand. Close that back on up. And at the very end, you've got your bathroom with the big soaker tub. Nice, nice clawfoot tub. That's it. So, folks, that there is the Elk Mountain Modding Farmhouse. Um, Man, nice job. Fantastic looking farmhouse. All the light switches everywhere up here. They all do work as well. They're all activated. Um, that's pretty cool. A lot of details gone into this thing, and it's it really shows. It's pretty cool. Just be aware, it's a pretty big placement when you go to slap it down. And not only that, it is 400,000 bucks, which is pretty realistic. But as you can see, trying to get the plate placement for it, there's quite a big footprint you're going to need in order to drop that plate, that thing down. So just make sure you got the space for it. So there you guys have it. We've got, well, one big placeable mod and what? Three other mods that we looked at. Not bad. Quite a few nice things have come out for PC this week. Like I said, these are all available for PC only. You're going to find links in the description for each one of these mods. And with that, folks... That's going to do it for us today here from the Farm Sim Show. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And folks, if you're looking for any information or where to download those mods we just spoke about, like I said, in all our videos, you're going to find it down in the description, down in the bottom there. You're going to find all that information you need right there. Go download those mods we just talked about. Of course, if you're looking for Farming Simulator 19 itself, or if you're looking for any of the new DLC or the old DLC that's available for Farming Simulator, you can find links to all that down below as well. And if you purchase from those points, it goes back to help out the channel. So appreciate if you do that as well. Anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll chat with you next time. See you, folks. Cheers.